killers amongst us. The scary thought of shadowy figures walking alongside law-abiding citizens, unbeknownst to anyone, remains a dreadful reality. However, according to Assistant Commissioner of Police George Nicholas, who was asked about this stark state of affairs, conceded this is currently the case on island. The high-ranking cop was a guest on the hit morning drive-time show That Makes Me Mad with Andre Paul on Radio 100 Helen FM. Do you think we have a lot of killers out there, um, Mr. Um, Nicholas? Well, given given the, the amount of homicides we've had and given the size of our population, um, it's too many. It's too many. And and we need to we need to, to change our mindset. We need to to be more aggressive. And when I say we, not just the police but members of the of the public too, need to be more aggressive in their in their intentions to to stop the, the, these crimes that, that, that we have in the homicide count for twenty twenty two thus far is one shy of fifty. And the year before that, the number shattered the record books at 75 killings. A dubious statistic for a small Caribbean island. The plaintiff wails of shattered loved ones who lost someone close to the heart to violent crime have become the soundtrack to life in communities riven by the social scourge. With the island convulsed by yet another recent crime wave, Questions about the police detection and clearance rates abound. However, ACP Nicholas blames the misperception about the hard-won breakthroughs of law enforcement on a breakdown in communication or simply the absence of information in the public sphere. Generally, we heard no one has been arrested in this matter. Okay, sometimes when when, when a crime happens and, and it's been reported, Perhaps at that time, an arrest has not been made. What we need to do is to, to do the follow-ups. To say, okay, last week we reported on so-and-so, and no arrest was made, but however, we're happy to report that an arrest has been made in, in, in relation to that particular matter. And that is perhaps what we, 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 we lack in a bit. But you see, we have to make the, the, the differentiation between... Because um, I've always said we have two court system in St. Lucia. We have the, the court of law and then we have the court of public opinion. So you find what is widely reported perhaps is in the court of public opinion where everybody seems to know who, who did the crime but nobody wants to come forward with the evidence. And Well, people even say the police know exactly who's involved. Yeah, but knowing, sometimes you may know who, who committed a crime but you don't have the evidence to connect the person to the crime. Host of What Makes You Mad, Andre Paul, peppered Nicholas with questions in his final line of inquiry. Given the number of killers still at large, Paul inquired about the police department's active surveillance and crime-fighting efforts. You keep an eye on these individuals because you know that they are suspects in crimes. It's just that, as you said, you don't have the, have the evidence. Mm-hmm. How is the police on a concerted campaign to do just that? to ensure that um, you make these individuals who are out there, who you have as suspects, make them feel uncomfortable with, with, your pre- with the, the presence of the police? As much as possible, we, 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 we monitor, we do monitor and we do surveillance as much as possible. Um, um, so most of these surveillance would be, uh, uh, um, you know, covert. Um, and when you do this kind of, kind of, 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 of work, you, you can have a uniform police officer doing it mm-hmm. so so we have officers doing surveillance and 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 who just monitoring monitoring persons who we believe are, are, are involved in criminal activity so is is that um a, a problem in terms of having again manpower slash woman power to ensure that you know even if they're in plain clothes that these individuals are under constant um, um surveillance i mean we we'd love to to be able to do more We'd love to be able to do more, but um, given the resources that we have, I think we 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 try our best to put the, the resources to, to the best use and to achieve to achieve our our objectives. 
ACP Nicholas revealed that the RSLPF has not had a conventional recruitment drive and class police academy graduates for regular police in the last four years. While personnel leave the organization through normal attrition, resignations, retirement, and dismissal. Notwithstanding these challenges, he says, the police department remains committed to citizen safety and upholding the laws of the land. Solaj Alfred, HTS News Force.